Hi, I'm Pete Brandon with AK Material Handling's Design Group, and I'm here today to answer a question that we get asked a lot. If are my beams sagging? Why why are they why are they sagging in the middle? Is it over capacitated? Is it am I within the tolerances of the, the capacity charts? And if they don't have the capacity charts or know exactly what it is that uh, the thickness of their beam, the length, the, the gauge of the steel, they're not going to know. Um, but there is a way to find out and um, RMI, the Rack Manufacturers Institute, actually states that there is a deflection allowed in the width of the beam here from the center to the end. And a, a way to find that out is take the length of your beam, which in this case is 96 inches. So you divide that 96 inches by 180 and that can come to uh, 0.53. So just over a half inch of deflection is allowed on this. And a way to find that is to take your tape measure and measure from one side, this is 38 inches, and then measure in the center from the floor up, you'd be allowed max deflection uh, of a half inch, so it'd be 37 and a half inches. So to recap, just to go over it again, all you do is measure the length of your beam in inches, divide that by 180, and that'll come out with your percentage of deflection allowed, max de de deflection allowed. Um, and then you measure from one end, from the floor up, and then once again in the middle to see if you're in that tolerance. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm Pete Brandon with AK Material Handling's Design Group. And if you want to learn more, please uh, check out our website and uh, be sure to follow us on uh, YouTube. Thanks.